Hi, it's Laura Wilson here from iBrandBoost.com. I'm going to be bringing you a little video series, which is a resurrection of something I started last year. Um, last year with my YouTube channel, I started a series of kind of reading with Laura, where I read out chapters of a book called The Social Media Bible. That, um, it was just a kind of little experiment really to start getting myself out there um, on video and producing content that's useful for my website subscribers and customers. It actually went down pretty well. Um, and so I'm going to be doing the same thing again. I've just moved into my new, uh, my new apartment here, which is lovely. So I'm going to be spending a bit of time creating some content. Also, having just moved in, I've had a chance as I'm unpacking and everything to look through my book collection and I realise I've got some amazing books. So I'm going to be just picking a couple chapters out of various different books and reading to them, them to you because they're books which have, have really massively helped my life, development, business, personal life um, in many different aspects. So I'd like to share that with you. So. There'll just be a little series of videos like this one where I'm going to be reading um, reading various books, generally in the themes of either business and branding and um, online marketing, but also personal development, health, diet, exercise and kind of spirituality and personal development stuff. So a bit of a cross section, but all designed to help you. So without further ado, this is the first book that I'm going to be reading from. It's called Don't Sweat the Small Stuff. It's by Richard Carlson, PhD, co-author of Handbook for the Soul. Um, yeah, it says don't sweat the small stuff and it's all stalls, and it's all small stuff. Simple ways to keep the little, for, little things from taking over your life. This is actually my friend's book, so I must read it fully and, and give it back to him. So, okay, now I'm gonna read to you a couple pages, um, chapter 19, which says, the title of the chapter is Lower Your Tolerance to Stress. So here we go. It seems that we have it backwards in our society. We tend to look up to people who are under a great deal of stress, who can handle loads of stress, and those who are under a great deal of pressure. When someone says, I've been working really hard or I'm really stressed out, we are taught to admire, even emulate their behavior. In my work as a stress consultant, I hear the proud words, I have a very high tolerance to stress almost every day. It probably won't come as a surprise that when these stressed out people first arrive at my office, more often than not, when they're hoping for, what they're hoping for is strategies to raise their tolerance to stress even higher so they can handle it even more. Fortunately, there is an unviolable law in our emotional environment that goes something like this. Our current level of stress will be exactly that for our tolerance to stress. You'll notice that people who say, I can handle lots of stress, will always be under a great deal of it. So if you teach people to raise their, their tolerance to stress, that's exactly what will happen. They will accept even more confusion and responsibility until again, their external level of stress matches that of their tolerance. Usually it takes a crisis of some kind to wake up a stressed out person to their own, to their own craziness. A spouse leaves, health issues emerge, a serious addiction takes over their life, something happens that jolts them into a search for a new kind of strategy. It may seem strange, but if you, but if you were to enrol in the, average stress, <laughs> in the average stress management workshop, what you'll probably learn is to raise your tolerance to stress. It seems that even stress consultants are stressed out. What you want to start doing is noticing your stress early before it gets out of hand. When you feel you're moving, your mind moving too quickly, it's time to back off and regain your bearings. When your schedule is getting out of hand, it's a signal that it's time to slow down and reevaluate what's important rather than power through everything on your list. When you're feeling out of control and resentful of all you have to do, rather than roll up your sleeves and get to it, a better strategy is to relax, take a few deep breaths and go for a short walk. I definitely find this helpful. Um, I love going for early morning walks, couple miles, just listen to my music, out and about, nice, fresh air, um, because sometimes we can get caught up, especially in kind of my business and, and possibly your business, you're sat behind a desk in an office all day, not really getting the kind of physiological needs or not feeding your physiological needs as well as you could be. 
So it's important to get get up, get moving, get your body moving, um, and get out and get some fresh air. Fresh air kind of helps everything really. You'll find that when you catch yourself getting too stressed out early, before it gets out of control, your stress will be like the proverbial snowball rolling down the hill. When it's small, it's manageable and easy to control. Once it gathers momentum, however, it's difficult, if not impossible, to stop. There's no need to worry that you won't get it all done. When your mind is clear and peaceful and your stress level is reduced, you'll be more effective and you'll be more fun. As you lower your tolerance to stress, you'll find that you'll have far less stress to handle as well as creative ideas for handling the stress that is left over. So, don't sweat the small stuff. Reduce your stress levels, don't increase it. Um, you know, there's no need to be stressed. Life is for living, life is fun. So, and it's not anything to be admired, to be stressed out all the time and totally overworked and totally busy. Um, if that's the way you are, then you need to reconsider um, and reprioritize and delegate, maybe. Okay, so um, thanks for listening. Enjoy your day, enjoy your evening, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye for now.